Lego Technic pins. What types of pins are there and how do we use them? Technic pins with friction ridges are very good for creating Technic projects to be strong and secure. For example, we may get a Lego Technic beam and we'll put two Technic pins in, another Technic beam or lift arm, and you see that's quite rigid, quite strong, um, so very good for building strong models and etc. So what does friction ridges actually mean? Well I'll just take a pin here and we'll show you. So here's a close-up of the Technic pin with friction ridges. Now what the friction ridge actually is, is that little ridge just there, another one there, and you can see they're actually all around the pin so there's actually eight on each end and those little ridges make sure that when you put the pin into the Technic lift arm or beam it's quite secure, strong and rigid. Technic pinned without friction ridges um, as you can see we'll get a little bit closer here we can see that there's no friction ridge on these so we'll use the same situation where we build something quickly with with pins without friction ridges and you can see that yes it does join my two lift arms or beams together quite well but basically there's a lot of slack a lot of slop in them and you get a lot of movement um, in your construction build whatever you're building uh, which is not very useful for um, building a structure but so why would you use a technic pin without a friction ridge well you may want something to move so you may want something to um, I may want this to move in a circular motion uh, for whatever reason I may want to um, I may want to make it into propeller so having a pin without a friction ridge makes things spin or move extremely easily. You can see the friction ridges on the 3L pin and very similar to the black two long pin the friction ridges make your model very strong, very secure very handy pin to have. Technic pin without friction ridges, three long, very similar to the light grey two long Technic pin without friction ridges. Um, these are not very good for sturdy buildings, um, but are very good for moving parts. So in this instance, I may want to build something that has something that spins inside. Or rotates very good for those sort of things. A Technic three quarter pin allows us to connect a standard lift arm, like so, to a thin lift arm, which is half the width of a standard lift arm or beam, and that allows us to connect that together quite uh, neatly. Uh, I'm not too sure why they call them three quarter pins, considering they actually take a thin lift arm, which is actually only half the width of a standard lift arm, but that's what they are. Technic half pin once again allows us to connect a standard lift arm, um, but if you chose a half lift arm you'll probably find yes it goes in but it doesn't go all the way through so they're not quite long enough this is where we can actually use or connect a standard Lego plate or similar to a Lego Technic lift arm and that's actually quite a that's actually the right depth to fit into 
the technic uh, sorry the standard Lego plate in this circumstance. So they're very good for that. They're cord once again they're cord half pins. Not too sure not too sure why because a Lego plate is actually one third the thickness of a standard Lego plate, but that's what they're called anyway. A Technic axle pin um, allows us to once again put the pin end into a lift arm or beam uh, but because this is an axle on this end I'm obviously putting into another beam it's just going to fall out but we can actually um, put the axle end into the axle end of the lift arm like so once again the blue one the blue pin does have friction ridges which makes the build quite strong and sturdy Technic actual pin without friction ridges similar to the previous pins there's no friction ridges on these so when you connect it into a Technic lift arm and you connect your axle end to an axle part of a lift arm you can see it moves quite freely in a similar sort of way to the other pins without friction ridges Technic axle 3 long um, this particular pin does have friction ridges similar to the other ones so it's going to make your model very strong but this one actually has two lengths of pins and one length of axle so once again you can connect two Technic beams plus something else that has an axle end axle pin with friction ridges that's three along as well um, this one's a little bit different as it actually has two lengths of axle and only one pin of pinhole so once again we'd have to find something that actually has two axles like so or two left arms that have axles um, once again, that does have friction ridges, so it's going to make your model reasonably strong. Technic pin with friction ridges, three long with also a stop bush. Um, the stop bush is actually this part around here. And this allows us to, when you push a Technic beam, into the pin, it actually stops, can't go any further. Um, it allows us to add a second beam. Now, the one thing that I do like about this particular pin is it's very good for pulling out um, with your fingers quite easily. So, if you're building a structure where you may want to, you know, take something off on a regular basis and put it back on, um, these pins are very good for just simply pulling, you know, pulling it, pulling something apart, and away you go. Um, also on the the end of the this particular pin there is actually an axle hole which means you can then um, tack on or add on um, other axles or other axle pins a double pin with an axle hole in the center allows us to maybe add two Technic beams together like so and then we may want to grab some sort of axle or axle pin for example and build something else very handy that sort of thing the Technic tow ball pin also does come with friction ridges uh, these are very good for using with uh, the Technic link um, 
which are basically used for steering in steering racks etc um, pop in very well able to move in almost almost any direction you like also very good for if you want to hook a rubber band around that to um, to, to add some tension somewhere else on, on your build Technic pin with friction ridge and a hole at one end. These are very useful for changing the direction of your Technic lift arms, for example. So, for example, I can put my pin into my lift arm quite easy, then get a standard pin, put that in so, then I can get another Technic beam and I see I've actually changed the direction of my holes and my technical lift arms. Very handy for those sort of things. Technic pin three long with one hole in the center. Very similar to the previous technic pin with one hole at one end. Um, once again, this allows you to add a technic beam to both ends of the pin, then we may be able to add one Technic pin in the centre and maybe go off in a different direction, like so. The Technic H shaped connector is technically not a pin, but I'll include it here because it does have pins on four of the ends does a very similar job to the previous Technic pin I showed you. Uh, once again, you can use this pin for going in different directions and doing whatever you like. The Technic L-shaped connector or perpendicular connector, uh, once again, is not technically a pin, but does a very similar job uh, to what we've already looked at. We can basically get some te technical lift arms, make a very neat corner, um, and also at the same time, we might be able to connect another lift arm or something else in, in another way. Very, very handy. Uh, connect to these. Um, when you're building large structures, these are probably your most valuable pin or connector.